as uh, Michael was talking about before, you know, there's a lot of hardship around the world and uh, we are seeing it particularly more during this COVID time. Uh, but the truth is it has been going on since the beginning of time and maybe we're just a little bit more aware of it in our daily lives. So we see the suffering. Hi everyone, thanks for your messages. Um, we see the suffering around us uh, in the news, on social media. We also feel and experience the suffering of our close family, but also within our own hearts, right? Um, there's so much going on every day and our thoughts are able to pull us away into a state of, you know, suffering. And uh, there's enough happening outside of us that causes suffering, but we, there's a lot that we do to ourselves as well. Not intentionally, it's just the nature of our mind. And the, what I would like to share with you today is my practice. Um, I know there are many kinds of presenters presenting in this Diviners Fest. And, um, you know, including meditation, yoga and such. My practice is chanting of the Divine Name. And um, the Divine Name is, could be in the form of, of just Ram or Sita or Krishna or Durga. It can also be a mantra that wishes well, uh, like the mantra that Michael chanted before from the Tibetan tradition, which is Om Mane Padme Hum. But my tradition is from India. And um, I just wanted to start with a recitation of the mantra that's probably most widely practiced in India. It's a Vedic mantra. It is called the Gayatri Mantra. And in this mantra, we are um, invoking our inner sun to illuminate our hearts and our minds so that we have clarity. When we have clarity, we're able to move forward in our lives in a good way so that the decisions that we make are beneficial not only for us, but for all beings. So this is what we are praying for. This is what we're asking for, um, for our own selves. And when we do that, then we are able to share with the rest of the world the benefits of our prayer. Okay, so the Gayatri Mantra, many of you might have heard it before. It's uh, Om Bhur Bhuva Svaha Tat Savitur Varenyam Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi Dhyo Yonaf Prachodaya Ata. So I'm going to chant it in the way that my Vedic a Sanskrit teacher has taught me. It might sound different to you than songs that you might have heard and so on. But this is the way they say that the rishis received the transmission many thousands of years ago from divinity itself. And this tradition of chanting it in this way has been carried on orally for, for since then. And um, we have the privilege of being able to chant this, this way, having received the transmission ourselves through our elders and our teachers. So let's start with um, three ohms together. And um, what we're doing here is accepting the gift that we have as human beings to, ab to be able to do practice and cultivate awareness. And the question was asked of me, like, what is true freedom? And for us, for me, we have the freedom to do practice in whatever way we can to help ourselves and to help everyone. 
This is the best offering that I can make. We can help each other in a practical way, you know, by feeding people, conserving the environment, just being kind to animals and all beings. But we can start first by doing practice. By doing practice, we create a strong foundation within ourselves to do the best we can, to live on a path of dharma, and to open our hearts, and as my guru would say, to love everyone. So we'll just chant this Gayatri Mantra a few times and then I will sing an invocation to the Guru and we will sing Sita Ram. Okay. Let's do this Gayatri Mantra a few times together. Tatsavitur-vare-enyam Bhargo-devasyadhimahi Dhyoyonaf-prachodayat Om Bhur-bhuvasuvah Tatsavitur-vare-enyam Bhargo-devasyadhimahi Dio yo naf prachodaya ata Om bhur bhuvasuvaha tat savitur vare enyam Bhargo devasya dhimahi Dio yo naf prachodaya ata Om bhur bhuvasuvaha tat savitur vare enyam bhargo devasya dhimahi dhiyo yo naf prachodaya ata Om bhur bhuvasuvaha tat savitur vare enyam Bhargo devasya dhimahi Dhyo yo naf prachodaya ata Om bhur bhuvasuvaha Tat savitur vare enyam Bhargo devasya dhimahi Dhyo yo naf prachodaya ata Om bhur bhuvasuvaha Tat savitur vare enyam Bhargo devasya dhimahi Dhyo yo naf prachodaya ata Om bhur bhuvasuvaha tat savitur vare enyam bhargo devasya dhimahi dhiyo yo naf prachodaya ata Om bhur bhuvasuvaha tat savitur vare enyam Bhargo devasya dhimahi Dhyo yo naf prachodaya ata Om bhur bhuvasuvaha Tat savitur vare enyam Bhargo devasya dhimahi Dhyo yo naf prachodaya ata 
मत ओम भूर्भुव सुव तत्सुर्वरे एन्यम भर्गो देवस्यम धियो यो न प्रचोदया
So, I'd like to invite you now to, since I can't hear you, I'll imagine that I can hear your voices. We're going to do call and response. And I'm going to sing a very simple mantra. It's simply Sita Ram. Sita and Ram are divine beings from the holy text called the Ramayana. Many of you might have read it or heard about it. But essentially, they are the masculine and feminine aspect of the divine. And when we sing this chant together, we are celebrating the union of that within ourselves and also the alignment of ourselves with all beings in the universe. So I'll sing, and I'm going to leave a space for you to sing the response while I play the harmonium. And just listen to your voice. You don't need to be a singer. All you want to do is to be able to be here in this moment, listen and sing back. And that is the practice, okay? And as the chants, they might come and go. It's okay. Let them come, let them go and try to just come back to the chanting of the mantra.
सीता सीता राम सीता राम सीता 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 राम सीता राम सीता राम सीता सीता
for Saraswati. This goddess helps us with our practice and we invoke her in the same way as all these divine beings to help us have clarity, discernment, and inner wisdom. And she helps us by giving us the strength and the stamina to do practice. So the words for this chant are Namastasye Mata. So Namastasye means to bow. I bow deeply. Mata is mother. Saraswati Sharade Devi. Sharade is another name for Saraswati. Devi means goddess. And then we'll sing Narayani Om.
So we'll do it the same way as call and response. Mom. 
Om Namo Bhagavate 
So uh, these chants help to bring us to a place of quiet and the more we do it, the more we're able to do it more. And um, if you have any questions, let me know, otherwise we can close with a, a short chant. And um, what we'll do is we'll sing um, a chant to pray for the preservation of our planet in the way that we can by preserving the wilderness to help us with the climate change issues that we're facing. And. Um, I hope the sound was okay and the Wi-Fi was okay. But uh, so this is a a chant to. I don't see any questions, so I think we'll just chant together some more. The more we chant, the more our questions are answered on the inside. And I'm not just saying that, so I don't have to answer questions. <laughs> so. Um, We're asking for Tara, for auspiciousness. Can you type your chanting sentence here? Oh, okay, I will try. I need my glasses. Hold on. So it's Om Tare, Tu Tare, Ture. Mangalam Shri Maha Pani Swaha. Okay, we'll do this prayer just to close with. I think that came out okay. All right, good. So you just have a few minutes. Sing along with me, okay? As best as you can. Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Mangalam Shri Mahapani Swaha Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Mangalam Shri Mahapani Swaha Om Tare Tu 
तारे तुरे मंगल श्री महापाणी स्वाहा ओम तारे तु तारे तुरे मंगल श्री महापाणी स्वाहा ओम तारे तु तारे तुरे मंगलम श्री महापाणी स्वाहा ओम तारे तु तारे तुरे मंगलम श्री महापाणी स्वाहा ओम तारे तु तारे तुरे मंगलम श्री महापाणी स्वाहा तारे तु तारे तुरे मंगल श्री महापाणी स्वाहा ओम तारे तु तारे तुरे मंगल श्री महापाणी स्वाहा सहनावतु सहनो भुनक् सह वीरकवाह तेजस्वीनावदी तमस्तु मिदिषा वह ओम शांति शांति शा